Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Stinger OS now active. Welcome, Agent. Hello, this is Droby, uh, helping you navigate the Alpha 0.2 of Night Team 4. This is the second video in the tutorial series. If you're just joining us, welcome. I'd also recommend checking out the Introduction to Cyber Warfare and Hacking video, which you can find in the description below or at the end of this video. Uh, and if you're just coming from that video, welcome back. In this one, we're going to go over the Mission Center, look at how we're going to be crafting missions in the Alpha and Beta stages of Night Team 4, and looking at the exciting real-world tool of Maltigo CE, which we use to create recon graphs. And you can use those recon graphs to better uh, formulate your attack strategy and use real-world intel to help you become a more efficient hacker. So if we go into the mission center here, we have a big recon graph here. The uh, I'll get into that in a second. First of all, because these are introductory missions and this is really to test the infrastructure of the uh, game we have in place right now, the missions are quite linear and straightforward in terms of their goals. So in this case, we're looking for vulnerabilities within RoboGroup Holdings uh, and seeing which organizations are, they are involved with and how we might best get in. Uh, as the game evolves, the missions will become more complex. There'll be various stages within a single mission. Uh, in this case, it is a there are still steps involved, but this is just one stage of the recon stage of what a full mission might look like. So going into uh, this graph here, uh, this graph is created with a real-world tool called Multigo CE, and that tool allows you to uh, imp show relationships between organizations, people, entities, all sorts of things, and graph their relationships, try and figure out where they're, they're might be vulnerable, what they're connected to, and map out where you would be able to go in and look for vulnerabilities. So in this case, we're looking at Roper Group here. Now, Roper Group has three entities, this intel tells us, connected to it. We have the Rosenberg Clinic, Morpho Medical, and Oak Valley. So if you look at Oak Valley over here, all we really have to go on with this intel are people and organizations. Now, there's no real connection to the online world within this framework because we don't know these people's email addresses, we don't know any uh, websites or anything like that. So while we have information on Oak Valley, it isn't necessarily useful to us at this stage. If you go over to Morpho Medical, you can see a different story. So we have four email addresses here, meaning that's four separate places where we could try and perform phishing attacks. That is That also gives us the domain names of morphomedical.com. So we have emails where we could uh, perform phishing attacks, or we could go out over the actual uh, domain name of morphomedical.com, see if we can find some subdomains, see if we can find any weaknesses in there. So that's one possibility. Ropa Group itself, we don't have a lot of information on it other than this one site. And this, this site is an onion site, meaning it's on the dark web. It's going to be hard to go after. Uh, there's not a lot we can do with that right away. But that information tells us that perhaps Roper Group has something to hide. They've taken the time to create a secure Onion website for a, a large organization. Maybe they're doing some nefarious things on there, but at least we know that they take their security very seriously. So that's probably not going to be the best place to go in after Roper Group. Now over here, Rosenberg Clinic seems a lot more promising. Not only do we have four separate individuals, and we know them by name, which will be a lot easier for phishing attacks, we also have the four emails for each of them. They're the domain names we can use, as well as two phone numbers here. Now this one phone number, this is a real world phone number, we're not gonna go into how to hack that at this stage because that's, uh, that is not the easiest way to get into the system, but we have this uh, SIP phone number here. Now this SIP number is an online uh, VoIP service which would allow, uh, the, which is online, so that might be hackable. So that's one possibility here. Plus we have the Rosenberg domain name and these four emails. So this gives you a sense of right away using recon that was gathered for this mission before you even get started in your own information gathering of how you can map out the uh, to the target and see the connections 
with other organizations. Now this tool is available for free online. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can download it yourself and you can use this tool in your investigations to start mapping out your your targets, uh, your opponents, all of all of the organizations within the 19.4 universe, and it's going to be super useful. Every time you find a new email address, new phone number, a uh, connection between organizations, you can map it out on a chart like this, and it will help you immensely, not only in performing uh, penetration, but also in performing phishing attacks and looking at ways that you can leverage uh, one person against another. So that is a brief overview of the Maltigo CE and of the Mission Center. We'll go on in the next video to explain information gathering, do some uh, DNS and vhost mapping and some port scanning and get into how we can complete this mission here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Closing route access. Goodbye. You can find more 19 port tutorials here like an intro to the Stinger OS, a look into mission structure in the Maltigo CE recon graphs, DNS and port scanning attacks, plus fingerprinting and the Fox Acid server. You can also pre-order the game by clicking on the bottom right hand of the screen.